two miles in, I feel the weight difference compared to the glide ride immediately. This shoe feels much, much lighter underfoot, through the toe off especially, right at the end of your foot strike, that's what the toe off is. So that's, it's feeling real good. There we go. We'll be in the studio in about 20 minutes. There it is. Oh yeah, nice and white, at least for a few more runs until I get it muddy. The Asics Evo Ride first impressions coming at you. Not my full review, that will happen after 50 miles and I'll just confidently say right now, this shoe is going to 50 miles, I can guarantee it. Uh, I bet it's in the next two weeks at, at the most, all right? So that's that gives you a hint as to how the shoe performed for me today out on my first run. All right, here we go, a few specs to kick it off. We're looking at a five millimeter drop from heel to toe. Heel to toe, five millimeters. So I usually like that six to eight millimeter range, but it's close, it's close. And I'm getting conflicting reports on the drop for the Evo ride. So I've seen two different uh, reports out there, but I'm gonna go with the ASICS website and my rough measurements with my ruler here in the studio. So a 22 millimeter stack height in the heel, 17 millimeter in the forefoot for the men's version. For the ladies, we're looking at 21 millimeter in the heel and 16 in the forefoot for again that five millimeter drop. I've seen a couple other websites report some quite a bit higher stack heights, but I did some rough measurements and I'm definitely gonna go with 22 and 17. So there's the drop for the weight. We're looking at 8.8 .8 ounces in men's size nine, 8.8 .8 ounces, and there it is on your screen in grams or 7.4 ounces in the ladies version, uh, women's size eight. Very, so I like that weight a lot, all right? And again, I'll give you my thoughts here in a second on how I plan to use the Evo Ride moving forward. Let's talk about the upper of the shoe. You all know that's the top of the shoe and it's a mesh upper, very breathable. Felt uh, I felt the wind coming through. In fact, maybe a little, if it's freezing out, yeah, like, we're talking like below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if I would wear this shoe unless I was wearing really thick socks. Uh, for the heel counter, like its big brother, so here's the heel counter at the back of the shoe, just like its big brother, the Glide Ride, all right? A burly, solid, strong, stout heel counter, all right? There you have it. It's just, and when I say stout, I mean it's just like if you squeeze, it doesn't, it doesn't give at all. And I kind of like it actually. Asics is, um, they're creating, what they're creating is a nice solid pocket, kind of like shooting pool. You're shooting for the corner pocket. There's just a nice pocket in there for your heel to sit in there at the back of the heel counter. And on top of the heel counter, the heel tab right here where your uh, Achilles tendon presses up against the back of the shoe, very plush, very, so a lot of good cushion is what I'm saying. And the sock liner inside the shoe, so that's the sock liner is what presses up against your sock. Uh, smooth, very comfortable. But I will say with other, if, it, if the sock liner is pressed up against kind of slick socks, like today, my compressed sports socks, it felt a little, just a little bit of slipping in there. So I'm gonna try the Evo Ride out with some other socks that I have, like some Darn Tough socks or Smart Wool, just to see if there's a little more uh, friction to help keep that heel locked into the back of the shoe a little better but very comfortable I will say as far as that sock liner on the inside it's a it's a, a tongue that is not gusseted all right no no gusseted tongue in there and the eyelet chain did fine lacing it up inside the inside the house in fact a lot of times when I take a shoe out for my first impression run I oftentimes have to stop in the middle of the run because I don't know about you but when you're trying a new shoe, uh, lacing it up correctly, I rarely nail it the first time. Well, I nailed it the first time today. I didn't have to stop in, my, in the middle of the run and, and relace it up. And for that midsole, we're looking at Flight Foam midsole. That's what it's called in the uh, ride lineup. So we've got the Meta Ride. That's kind of the top of the line shoe. Very, I believe it's still to about $250. Then you've got the Glide Ride, $160. And then you've got the Evo Ride, and we'll get to the price in a second. So it's that Flight Foam and Guide Sole Technology 
Um, let's see. And oh yeah, so a big, uh, a big uh, selling point of Asics for this this lineup with the Glide Ride, the Meta Ride, and the Evo Ride is that they want to help reduce the amount of work that your ankle has to do. So they're trying to kind of re what they put on their their website is they're reducing the ankle flexion through your gait cycle. So which is supposed to help save. Um, you save your muscles, save your legs, keep your legs fresher for longer. That's kind of their, their pitch to you. And I don't know yet if that's going to be true in the Evo ride. I will say for the Glide ride, as one of my favorite shoes of 2019, I really enjoyed the ride in the Glide ride. So we'll just see if the Evo ride lives up to the... Uh, lives up to its its bigger brother. Also on the midsole, it has that curve, it's that rocker curve, okay? Look at the curve on that toe off. So what's nice, I must say, through that kind of over exaggerated curve through the forefoot is you get a nice kind of launch off feeling. And I didn't go very fast today. I think my fastest, I held it for maybe a, a quarter mile or a half mile was about 6.45 a mile. I glanced down at my watch and I was starting to toe off really nicely. So I'm pretty excited to take this shoe out at a higher speed sooner rather than later. And for the bottom of the shoe, the outsole on the Evo ride, you can see, so the white is the exposed flight foam. All right, the exposed flight foam is the white. And then that cream color is what ASICS calls the AHAR, AHAR is their acronym, which stands for ASICS High Abrasion Rubber. And actually the forefoot has a lot of this rubber. So that tells me, and we'll just jump into it right now, that the durability of this shoe might, is going to be pretty high. I'm going to say at least 350 and probably closer to 400 or 450 miles uh, is my prediction for the durability of this outsole with that uh, ASICS high abrasion rubber on the outsole. And one last point on the outsole, just to compare it to the Glide Ride, you'll notice there is no decoupled groove through the outsole, whereas the Glide Ride has that, that very large decoupled groove. So that's kind of interesting that the uh, they did not put that into the Evo Ride uh, this time around. Who knows, maybe in the next iteration they will. For that fit and comfort, very interesting. I went true to size and I'm a little shocked. And again, maybe it's the socks. I'm a, I really need to try wearing some thicker socks next time. I was swimming around a little bit in the toe box, just a little bit. And I was I was yearning for a little more lockdown through the toe box. So it's a little surprising. Again, check back after 50 miles and I'll give you my full thoughts after I wear some thicker socks. But I was a little surprised that um, I, was, I was hoping, I bet I could have pulled off a size, half size down um, in these socks that I wore today. All right, for the comfort, very comfortable. Again, the sock liner was nice, just a little slick. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that with uh, after the 50 mile mark. And then, because so 22 millimeter stack height in the heel and 17 in the forefoot is not very much. But I did not feel, I didn't feel like I was beating up my legs very much out there. Like sometimes when midsoles are that low, I feel like my legs are getting a little tight, like a little, just a little beat up out there on the pavement on the, and the concrete. Not so much the case. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes after 50. But uh, yeah, the, the, the midsole felt like I was being, and you know what? It might be, I just thought of this. Remember, the, it might be partially because of the solid insole. I always like the Asics insoles that they stick into their shoes just to provide a little bit of extra cushion. I can tell they put a lot of uh, effort into the manufacturing process for their insoles in the ASICS lineup. For my positive, I'm gonna go with it is lightweight. It feels lightweight, it feels snappy, it feels poppy, it feels like it's ready to rock and roll. For my drawback, again, that's swimming around in the toe box. We shall see if that gets fixed after uh, 50 miles. And then how will I use this shoe in the next, you know, 40 miles in the testing? Is that, oh, and I forgot to mention something, I'll come back to that in a second. Is that uh, tempo? Absolutely. I'm seeing a couple folks out there saying that this might be an easy day shoe. I don't think so. I think this is a tempo day shoe, 100%. I'm excited. So like the Saucony Canvara 11, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel, uh, this, this is going to go in competition with those two shoes 
moving forward in my running shoe rotation. Okay, I forgot to mention one thing is that the upper does not have as much overlay action compared to the glide ride. So it's a, it's a, it's a more streamlined, not as much overlay going on in the upper. Oh yeah, and compared to the Asics Gel Nimbus Lite, so if I had to say like, we're gonna go Asics Gel Nimbus Lite easy day, we're gonna go Evo Ride for tempo day, and for me, the Glide Ride falls more into that middle distance and long run shoe. So there's kind of the, the lineup for you right there. Uh, yeah, so Gel Nimbus Lite is turning more into my easy day shoe. It's got potential to go further, uh, but it is leaning in that, in that easy day shoe direction. And that price point, oh my goodness, what's happening, Asics? $120, that's what I'm talking about. Like, Asics for me, on my experience, their prices tend to go a little bit higher than I like. But at the same time, the build quality of the Asics lineup, I think is spot on. I think their build quality, they're doing it right and they don't cut corners. And so I'm willing to pay a little bit more for the Asics running shoe lineup. But the Evo Ride is coming in at 120 bucks. Like that is, I think they nailed it. I think it shouldn't be any lower. I think it shouldn't be any higher. Um, now again, we'll see after 50 miles, but so far so good. I'm really, really liking that price point ASIC. So good work there. All right, that's my first impression of the Evo Ride. I'm excited. We will get this shoe. And so my training schedule, I'm gonna start picking up the pace um, about, yeah, about a week from now, maybe 10 days. Let me think, yeah, early March, essentially. So this shoe is gonna really start to come in handy as the tempo days start getting integrated into my training, getting ready for uh, the Irving Half Marathon, Irving, Texas Half Marathon, and then the Hamburg Marathon. So there you go, question of the day. How was your race this weekend? Or how was your long run? Tell us a crazy story. Maybe something awesome happened. If you PR'd, let us know down in the comments. That would be amazing. All right, everyone, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching the first impressions of the Ace of Evil ride in the studio. Oh, another day, another week. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. All right, everyone, we're tossing it back on the right to the Asics first to Asics Glide Ride first impressions. That'll be on the right. And then on the left, we'll toss it back to the Asics Gel Nimbus Light first impression. That'll be on the left. All right, love you all. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.